Hello everyone and welcome back to Wicked Art. It's Wicked here and it is Digital Wednesday and I thought I would draw Hellboy uh, just mainly because I like the character's design but I also wanted to try out a few new things. Uh, not in just how I draw uh, per se but wanted to test out uh, line weight, uh, coloring techniques, uh, especially when I get into areas with like um, the highlights uh and things like that uh just trying some new things out to see if they look better that way um but yeah so basically i just started off with a sketch with the uh, construction shapes so you know just bean shapes for fingers uh you know chest shaped being a square kind of thing like that then i just lowered the opacity went in and added a new layer above it and just called it line so this is one of the new things that i don't do too often uh is doing three layers worth of lines so what i wanted to do with this layer is just kind of uh, really start building out those construction shapes and adding more detail in there just to get the overall look. And then after that, I add a new layer above that um, just so that uh, I can try line weight. So I used a pressurized brush, which is free in Photoshop. It's just called a pressure brush. It's like right below the hard round brush. Um, but I wanted to try different uh, line weight, so it allows me to increase or decrease the weight of the line by just simply putting pressure um, on the screen that I used to draw on. Um, and that could kind of help give it, I just really wanted to see if it give it more of a cool look. Um, is it just going to look the same um, or maybe make it more catching to the eye? Just something I always wanted to try out because I know when I read a bunch of comics and stuff too and I look through the artwork and... Uh, just to see how they do things. And I noticed on the rounder areas, they tend to put a little bit more weight to it. Uh, uh, most of the outline are just things that need to stand out more than others. They tend to get a bit of a heavier weight while the rest are a little bit lighter. So that was what a whole intention of, of doing this this way was to just kind of um, play around with line weights. Uh, but then what I did was I just switched back to a regular hard round brush and started doing my inking. Um, but then on top of that, I also add in and change certain details, like you can see on the horns, I add in, in cracks, uh, maybe adjusting the, the uh, mutton chop beard. You know, I extended that out a little bit. Um, and then on his uh, big club fist hand made out of stone, you know, putting the cracks and divots and stuff in there. Um, so I'm just going through again. I, I usually tend to go with what looks cool uh, but at the same time I implement some aspects of actual like real world lighting like where shadows fall at um, so again it's a mixture and a combo all the time for me of what looks cool and what doesn't look cool do I want to keep this you know uh, will it stand out more like see I left that little line on the under part just because I didn't want it to be solid black um, and so just as I work my way through, it's just really adding detail, uh, especially, like I said, in that arm. I wanted it to really look rocky and, uh, you know, kind of like it's had some wear and tear to it because, you know, he's always punching and <laughs> hitting things and breaking through walls or creatures and things like that, getting slammed around. So I'm sure it wouldn't be just solid like that. Um, uh, other general areas, uh, like with the glove on his uh, left hand, which he's holding the gun in, I couldn't remember if it was a brown glove or not. I, I pulled up some references, but like they're all different. So I just kind of based it off of uh, the movie version. Uh, I think it was black. And I thought it was a good choice to go with that just because it would help break up. If I just did, you know, like his trench coat's brown, his glove is brown, everything would just be brown. And it just wouldn't look as interesting. So I just went in and added in some highlights, much like I did with Deadpool and Nightcrawler last week. Um, just really filling in those areas and leaving some highlights so it's not just all completely black. Uh, same thing with the gun, going more towards what looks cool, but at the same time thinking about uh, metallic aspects too. Um, and then after that, I just kind of um, wanted to hand draw. I completely forgot that the symbol for the um, paranormal um APBR or whatever, I can't remember what it's called, uh, that he works for, the Paranormal Research Bureau. Um, I completely forgot to put that symbol on his thing, so I just went in there and hand drew that real quick. And then I pulled up a picture of Hellboy so you get the colors 
um, but I didn't really like the way the reds were coming out. So I kind of went in and darkened them after using them, and I wanted the head and the arm to be, and this is on a new layer below the lines layer, just so you know. Um, and I just put a mask around it just so that it won't go outside the line. Um, but yeah, then I did like the trim edges in a lighter brown, and then did the same thing with the symbol. And uh, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do color or not. So I tested out black and red. Um, but then I noticed it was like really loud and stood out. And I was like, nah, that's a bit too much. So I kind of just switched back to that light tan color mixed in with the brown, almost like it was a patch, just kind of sewn into the coat. Um, gun, typical, you know, brown, some grays uh, going in there. Uh, and then you can see I adjust the color a little bit. Um, and then just filling in the highlights white for now, but because I plan on putting in like a glowing pentagram in the background, uh, I will go over those. So I just fill, I start a new layer, uh, select the same mask, and just fill it all in, and then just start subtracting out the shadow. Again, I found by using this method, uh, it helps me see the image develop the lighting better than as if we go in there and hand paint all the shadows. Uh, so I just personally feel like it turns out better when I do it that way and just subtract the shadows out. Um, and once I kind of get the foundation for that done, I'm able to kind of, um, you know, plan and adjust things like how much shadow to subtract also based on like the highlights that will end up going in there. So I want I want to leave enough um, you know, light showing that I can then put a layer of highlights that take up a decent amount of space, but not the whole thing, uh, just so it looks cool. So uh, after I finish the, all these shadows, I go in and drop a new layer above it, use the same mask, put that on there, and then I just kind of, uh, I take an airbrush tool, which you it should be in Photoshop, but if not, you can find one online for free. I mean, they're not hard to find. Um, and I just used the lasso tool because I noticed in some comic books they have a lot of harsher lines on their uh, character edges and stuff. And so I wanted, this is the other thing I wanted to test out was using that method. It takes a little bit more time, but I think the end result with the airbrush kind of made it look cooler, honestly, like like more like a comic book. Um, and just I just by the time I kept working, I, I felt happier and happier with it. I was really liking the way it was turning out. There's a couple times where I was hitting the back key with Command-Z and accidentally hit like Command-X or something, it would switch the colors. So there's a couple times you'll see me go back over an area because I'd accidentally changed it to white. Um, but the reason I'm going with this kind of uh, orangey color is because, um, like I said, I'm going to have a glowing pentagram and that's the color. is going to be glowing this kind of like a fire orange type color. So again, I just kind of thought about areas that need highlights or get that reflection some areas bigger than other just to try to balance everything in there and like you can see I went over those white areas um, and just turned in that color that that's going to be so when it comes to the pentagram all I did was just uh, use the uh, circle tool I hit control and then just hit stroke and just use a normal seven brush size and I wanted to hand draw the pentagram myself and then once I had all that, I raised out the parts that were intersecting, just kind of selected it and added a glow layer. And once I added that glow layer, I just got rid of the line layer so that it would stand out more. And then I realized well, it'd be cool if I had some smoke. So I readjust the mask, added some smoke in there, and put some highlights on that. And then I just pulled the Hellboy logo itself, just a black and white image of it. Um, I know I tried to draw most of it myself, but I just thought it would be a little bit more authentic if I could just get that and so I just kind of selected it and went over it put a gradient over the top of it um, and then I found the bureau's symbol and put that in the middle of the circle and that's really it I really really loved how this thing turned out please let me know in the comments what you think how you think I did um, if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button if you're the same one I appreciate you coming back and looking again Again, I appreciate y'all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until next time, keep sketching, and I'll see you on the next one. All right? Bye.